Hello, my friend. Welcome to another episode of Reading with Robert. I'm Robert Sotella. And so today I want to share with you a book that I got when I was a little boy. And I have to show it to you because it's pretty, pretty funny, actually. If you could see the binding, it's pretty beat up, right? And uh, I went to open it and look what happened. That means I read it a lot when I was a little boy. And uh, it's called Henry Babysits, and it's by a guy named Robert Quackenbush. It's like my name, Robert. But I wanted to show this to you and show you how the cover fell off because that happens sometimes, right? When we play with toys a lot or a favorite book, um, sometimes they break and they just get worn out, even dolls. And so that doesn't mean it's not um, good still because we could still read it, but it means that we have to take very delicate care and we have to take care of it and be soft and gentle because otherwise it, it could get ruined even more and then I won't be able to enjoy it. So I thought I would share that with you. It's kind of funny. Anyhow, let's begin. Henry babysits. Here we go. Henry the duck was enjoying a quiet day at home when the doorbell rang. It was Henry's friend Clara with her baby nephew. Would you mind babysitting for my nephew? She asked. Henry was not sure he knew how to babysit. It's easy, said Clara. It's my nephew's nap time and he'll be fast asleep. Henry said he would be glad to babysit. When Clara left, he put her baby nephew on the couch and went back to reading his paper. The doorbell rang again. Can you see who's in the window? It was Henry's next door neighbor. I saw Clara bring her nephew over, she said. Can you watch my baby too? She'll be no trouble. Henry was a good neighbor, so he said yes. As soon as the neighbor left, the kitten began to cry. Henry was afraid she would wake Clara's nephew. He ran to get some milk for the kitten, but he had no milk. Just then, the doorbell rang. What do you think is going to happen? I heard you were babysitting this afternoon, Henry, said another neighbor. Would you please sit with baby Amanda? Henry saw the bottle of milk in baby Amanda's hand. So he agreed to watch her. Look at that cat crying in the bottom. Can you see? Can you see her? Henry sat baby Amanda down. He took her bottle and poured a little of the milk into a dish. He gave the milk to the kitten and the bottle back to Amanda. Now both babies were happy and Clara's nephew was fast asleep. What a good duck baby, just sleeping on the couch. Suddenly, baby Amanda began to cry. Henry tried burping her, but that didn't work. Maybe she needs changing, he thought, but I have no diapers. The doorbell rang again. It was another neighbor with another baby. Can you see who's in the window? Is that going to be trouble? I heard you were babysitting, said the neighbor. Would you please watch my baby? He'll be no trouble at all. He may just need a clean diaper. When Henry saw the box of diapers, he said he would babysit. In a flash, baby changed. Henry changed baby Amanda and the monkey too. He mopped his brow with relief. Clara's nephew was still fast asleep. Meanwhile, the kitten had finished her milk and wanted to play, but Henry had no toys. The kitten started to meow. Baby Amanda started to cry. Henry wished he had some toys. The baby duck is still asleep. 
Once again, the doorbell rang. It was still another neighbor with another baby for Henry. Just give him this ball to play with and he'll be no trouble, said the neighbor. Henry took the puppy and the ball inside. Quickly, Henry tossed the ball to the kitten and baby Amanda. They stopped crying and started to play. But the puppy wanted to play too, so he began to chase the kitten. Round and round the room ran the kitten and the puppy. Baby Amanda thought this was fun. She began shaking her bottle, splashing milk everywhere. The monkey saw baby Amanda shaking her bottle. He thought it would be fun to throw things. Lamps and books and flower pots went crashing to the floor. I bet it was getting loud in there. Windows smashed, curtains fell. Henry could not stop what was happening. Uh oh, look at that mess and all that noise. At last it was quiet. The babies were tired and they fell fast asleep. Henry looked around. Poor Henry, his house was a mess. The babies were still sleeping when the neighbors came to take them home. The neighbors thanked Henry for being such a good babysitter. Then Clara came to pick up her nephew. She wondered to herself why Henry's house was such a mess, but when she saw her nephew was still asleep, she knew everything was all right. You see, Henry, said Clara, babysitting is easy. The end. Isn't that a good book? So funny. So, like I said, I have to be gentle with this book because it's pretty old, but I love this book, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Stay tuned for more and make sure you subscribe so that you can learn more stories and hear more stories and read more stories with me. Goodbye, guys. I love you. Have a great day.